You know Dami go get to the T. You know Dami go get to the T. Y'all know Dami go get to the T. Period. All right, Andrew Caldwell coming on to the internet to make claims against this uh, blogger named KMTV who blogs about his life on a daily basis. He now threatens to sue this young woman. And if there's another man that he's already sent out paperwork to, and honey, he had choice words for them. My whole thing with Andrew Caldwell, which I'm telling you guys, he has actually copywritten my channel before, by the way. But my whole thing with him is, does he not understand what the blogging world is about? A lot of people that are in Andrew Caldwell's position would want the blogs to be talking about them, but I guess he doesn't like that. I mean, he even tried to sue Zeus Network, which he didn't even really get into a real contract or any real work with them as far as filming before he came up with the conclusion that he should sue them. I think Andrew Caldwell seems to be a negative person who has a problem with a lot of things a lot of the time. Instead of understanding that he's a public figure and people are going to have things to say about him, he just looks at them with disgust and he wears this look on his face that he's just so unhappy. And it makes me wonder why he would be so bothered if you put yourself in a position on social media for people to have opinions. I mean, that is the social part of social media. It's reaction, action, and reaction. Well, anyway, here's what Andrew Carwell had to say about the young lady, and I'll be back with my commentary. Yes. Hiding your hands. You throwing rocks and hiding your hands. Sitting around playing with doozies. Sitting around playing with the devil. And then you want to sit in our face and smile. You are the devil. And Satan the Lord rebuke you now. Leave our church alone. Before the saints get together and pray, and before you know it, you'll be somewhere in jail. Worry about your family. Worry about your health. You look sick since you're not saved no more. You look disgusting. Leave our church alone. Don't mention our church. I will have the Church of God in Christ security, staff, and lawyers to come after your tail. Leave Bishop Porter alone. He's saved. And he's in a higher position than you ever could get. You leave our church alone. And you leave our people alone. And you leave my first lady alone. Leave the Church of God in Christ. Leave Karen Clark Shears alone. They not studying you. You're not even on their level. You would never have that type of money. And I'm speaking it down. You would never have nothing. You leave us alone. And to put a, put a, this is your light skin woman right here. Hold on. What's her name? This is a light, it's a brown skinned woman right now that's sitting on YouTube. Let me tell you something, this will be my last time addressing you and I'm gonna address you godly. I don't know you and I know you were, I know you was a fan or a supporter and I don't know if I made you mad or not but God bless your soul. That's all I can say to you. I have nothing else to you and I'm gonna say this, whatever you say on your live right now because you're live, we just shut down your page. You're live. You better watch what you say and you better watch it lightly, MK. Okay, it's your name, MK. Watch what you say, little girl. Okay, and you better tread lightly. Okay, because I'm not clapping back on, I want to sue you. I want your coins, okay? I want that little wig you got, that dry the wig you have. Understand that. So, I'm paying somebody $5,000 to come after you guys, and believe me, I'm coming after all of you guys. And I know somebody works for you too. We coming after you. One family at a time, one page at a time. And I say this with love and peace. I see um, King Jobs sitting up on YouTube talking about he dumb, he stupid. You the broke one. You call yourself famous when no one would never hire you to be a speaking engagement. You would never get a TV show. You would never be on a TV show. Understand it. And I don't even have to call around and, and make sure you're not going to be on it. Because you're not. Okay? I have many contracts. When the last time you signed? Well, you're not going to sign a contract because you're fraudulent. Your whole family is. They all been to jail for scamming and fraud. So, if I was you, I would tread very lightly, sir, King Jobs. Worry about your family. Leave my name out your mouth. Leave the Church of God in Christ's name out your mouth. Because you don't have nothing to bag it up. And the many queens that support you, they can be down as well and positions taken away as well. Keep our name out your mouth, Satan. You ain't nothing but the devil. You work with the devil 24-7. And you only have views because you talk about us. Who does that? And you better, oh, I, feel, I was going to say you're going to get banned, but you already got banned. And yes, you are banned from the Church of God in Christ. I verified that. And I heard it from the leaders. And um, and I, and I think you said that Dr. Carter got put out the women's convention. You're correct, and you will too. Keep our name out your mouth. Okay? Nobody stun you. And I'm not going to clap back with you, so if he go laugh, y'all. If he go laugh and talk about me, don't tag me. I don't respond to people who's nobody. I'm just saying, I'm not judging. I, I don't respond to nobody who's not on my level. I don't respond to my who ain't rich, who ain't got a blue check mark, who ain't known, and I definitely don't respond to my who's sitting around scamming. Go find there and Darius. Oh Lord, Mr. Darius, I'm waiting on my ticket. Yeah, I, I use a name. Is Darius Williams on here? Bring him to the room. No one loves you, and no one name, no one likes you, and that you would never be famous off Andrew C. Caldwell. Understand that. You are nobody, and you are, and you never will become no one. That goes for the that goes for that low life, man, woman, whoever she is, and that goes 
for that six hundred pound man that sit up on YouTube. And believe me on that. You got my you got my letter that my lawyer sent you. You've been warned. Understand that. Don't make me call my lawyers and we come after you again. Remember, you was on the you was on the phone. Well, not on the phone. You sent a you you sent an email. Yeah, you was on the phone. You called my lawyer, trying to tell them to make me stop. You would they, they remember? They don't run me. I run them. Understand that. You don't have nothing. And whatever you work in the job at, let me find out. I will get you fired. But I'm not gonna put my energy to no broke level who ain't nobody and who will never become no one. And I speak that up. You will never become nobody. And I mean what I said. I'm. You're right. I can be nasty, rude, and you're right. I am nasty because I won't talk to you. You're right. I am disgusting because I won't sit with you. You're right. I am arrogant. I would never socialize with you or your people. Remember that. Okay. Understand that. And it's, it is about money for me. Everything I do will always be about money. Understand that. You don't have. Pleasure was all over his person, as you can see. Absolutely unhappy about that. But nonetheless, Andrew Caldwell has every right to be upset, even if I do feel like it's unfounded. He has every right to be upset at somebody who continues to make a mockery of him on social media. I wouldn't let it bother me. I mean, I've had it happen to me, and I'm just a blogger. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave comments, like, and subscribe.